Hey everyone, Ray Miller here with Audio Advisor. And you know, I've been in love with great sound for over 40 years. And today, we're diving into one of the biggest debates in the headphone world. Corded or wireless? What's a better choice? Now, both camps have some really strong points and a few drawbacks too. So we're gonna break it down so you can decide what fits your listening style best. Let's start with corded headphones, the classics. The big reason people still love these is sound quality, because you've got a direct connection. You're not dealing with any wireless compression or additional digital processing. You get bit-perfect playback of every detail your music has to offer especially important when you're listening to high-resolution 24-bit files. And here's something to really keep in mind. Impedance matching. Those higher impedance headphones, we're talking 32 to 600 ohms, like the Sennheiser HD 800S. They need proper amplification, but when you've got it, the sound quality is phenomenal. Plus, you're in complete control of your signal chain from source to DAC to amp to your ears. Another huge plus, no batteries. Plug in, press play, and you are good to go for as long as you want. And if you're into gaming or mixing music, the ultra low latency is a lifesaver. What you hear is in perfect sync, of course, there's always going to be a few trade-offs. You're tethered to your gear, so you can't exactly wander around while listening. And let's be honest, cables eventually fray or snag. That's just part of the deal. Now, wireless headphones have taken off in a huge way, and for good reason. The freedom is incredible. You can move around your house, work out, or commute without worrying about any dangling cable. But let's talk codecs. This is where it gets interesting. Standard Bluetooth pushes about 328 kilobits per second, but LDAC can handle up to 990 kilobits per second, and APTX HD delivers CD quality streaming. That's a huge improvement, though still not quite bit perfect like wired. Plus, a lot of wireless models come loaded with extra features, active noise canceling, built-in DACs, and even touch controls. And if you're traveling, hey, toss them in a bag, you're set. But here's the flip side though. Every wireless headphone has its own built-in DAC and amp, and they might not match the quality of your dedicated gear at home. And battery life is always a consideration. Gotta remember to charge them. And depending on the codex, you may notice a slight delay. Standard Bluetooth can be 150 to 300 milliseconds, though APTX low latency gets that down to around 40 milliseconds. Oh, and in a crowded area with lots of wireless signals, you just might get some interference that, well, doesn't happen with a good wired connection. Now, if you're a serious audiophile, here's what really matters. When you're doing critical listening with those high-resolution files, or you've invested in planar magnetic headphones that need serious power delivery, wired is still king. Many of the reference-grade headphones, your Focal Utopias, your high-end Sennheisers, they're still primarily wired only for a reason. When every detail matters, you want that direct connection without any digital processing in the way. It's about controlling your entire audio chain and getting exactly what the artist intended. So, which one's better? Honestly, it depends on who you are and how you listen. If you're an audiophile who wants every ounce of detail and accuracy, especially for critical listening sessions, well, corded headphones are tough to beat. Now, if you're more about convenience, 
working out, traveling, running errands, wireless is the obvious winner. For competitive gaming, where every millisecond matters, wired is still your best bet. And here's the truth. Most people end up with both. Wired for those serious at-home listening sessions with your high-res music collection, and wireless for, well, everything else. That's honestly the sweet spot. Quick recap. Corded headphones give you uncompromised sound, bit-perfect playback, complete control over your audio chain, and perfect sync. No charging hassles, and they can handle those power-hungry, high-impedance drivers. Wireless gives you freedom, flexibility, and some pretty cool features with codecs that are really getting impressive. But you want to keep an eye on charging and understand there may be tiny sacrifices in sound purity. And know that you're adding another DAC into the mix. The great news? Headphone technology today is so good, you honestly can't go wrong either way. Now, if you'd like a little help in picking the perfect pair of headphones, whether that's a high-end wired reference model or the latest wireless with LDAC support, Come visit us at audioadvisor.com or give us a call at 1-800-942-0220. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss any of our latest tips, reviews, and gear spotlights. I'm Ray with Audio Advisor. Thanks for watching and happy listening.